Hi, I'm Cody Schneider. I'm the president of Schneider Media. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to identify what we're calling high impact keywords. Um, so basically what that means is these are keywords that we're getting a lot of impressions for, but they are on page two. Typically what this is is a signal that Google wants us to rank for these keywords or they think that we should rank for these keywords, but we just haven't built content um, that is targeted towards them. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Data Studio. Before we dive in, what we're going to uh, look at first is just uh, how we got to this place and how we identified these. So I've been doing this manually for forever. Um, I was reading an article over the weekend um, from Coding Against for Losers and it was talking about doing this in Sheets. And I thought, okay, I can do this way easier uh, in Google Data Studio. And so, um, again, there's kind of two different ways to talk about these keywords. They're quick win keywords or high impact. So quick wins are the ones that, again, are they're easy for us to rank for. We're already seeing signals that we're ranking for them. And then the high impact is that they make uh, the... Uh, they allow for just quick growth for a website. So again, this is the site that we're using as an example, is one of my affiliate sites. And you can see over the last 12 months, we've just implemented this strategy and you can see the growth here. So, okay, so let's actually build this out. So uh, to do that, what I'm gonna do first, um, you're gonna have to have a Data Studio account um, and that's the only thing you'll need. You don't need any paid subscriptions or anything. I use Supermetrics. Um, I really have a preference for it. Uh, I, I think it's one of the best data connectors that exists currently. But for this tutorial, all you're going to need um, is just a data studio or free Google account uh, and Search Console setup. So, with that, um, I'm going to make a new page so that we can start from scratch. So, let me edit. And then I'm going to add new page. All right. So, <clears throat> the first thing you're going to do is click this add chart button, hit table. You're gonna add this table in. Once that table's added in, you're then going to select the data source that you need. So I'm just gonna create a new data source. No, I don't want it to blend the data. I wanna select a data source. And I'm gonna add a data source. And in the field here, you're gonna type in Search Console. And I'm going to use the data connector uh, that is from uh, or that is provided by Google. And here I'm going to select the site that I'm targeting. And instead of site impressions, you're going to you're going to do URL impressions. And I'll get to that in a moment. So we'll select web, and then import that data in. <coughs> All right, so what this data then allows for us to do is I want to select the query. I want to select the impressions. And the third thing we're going to look at is the, uh, oh, it's going to be the average position. Oh, I selected the long, so this is my bad. And this is again why we are selecting, we need to select the correct, so again, it looks like it was stuck on the impressions. Now we want, yeah, I selected the wrong URL. So then site impressions web, okay. see if that average so that average position is there so that data is being imported so we're going to go query we're going to go impressions again but now we're going to also add average position so at this point what it's showing us is all the keyword phrases that we're getting the most impressions for and the average position uh, for that specific time period so for this time period uh, it's going to be uh, just for this last month. So now what we're going to do um, is we're going to filter so that it's only uh, looking at positions uh, 10 through 20. So that's going to be on page two. So again, the filter that we're creating is uh, keywords that get a lot of impressions that are on page two. So here I'm going to go uh, and select the average position. And then I'm going to select between and I'm going to put position 10 and position 20. 
and this could be up even to 30, so you want um, keywords that are on page two and page three. And then you can see here the keywords that are creating the greatest uh, impact for us, or the keywords that we're getting the most impressions for, but we're on page two for. So we can even take this a step further and look at specific keyword categories. So something else that we've done um, is we've actually created a filter to look at the, and again, this is an affiliate site. Um, so we are wanting to include, uh, we are going after keyword phrases with high search intent uh, for a purchase. I'm gonna also click this query that includes the word best. So now you can see all the keyword phrases that include the word best. Um, so this could also be done. So say you're having a marketing website or say you're having, sorry, uh, let's we'll say a building, uh, you know, custom home builder website. And you want all the uh, word, all the keywords that you accidentally rank for that include the word custom or include the word home in them. Um, you could filter down by those. So this just gives you insight on what your content writer should be writing, which I think is the biggest challenge currently with uh, content marketing. That people know they need to be writing content. They don't know what keyword phrases to be going after or what content they need to be writing. So then once we've identified these keyword phrases, we can build out effective content briefs or we can refresh the content that we have already. A lot of these keyword phrases, we already have pages that <clears throat> it fits in really, you know, it fit, it's associated with and would fit in just adding. So we'll just add a new paragraph to those, including these keyword phrases. Um, but it also for the, for again, for this affiliate site, it tells us the next key, the next pages that we should be writing. So, all right, if you have any questions, you can comment below uh, this video. I'm active here and trying to answer those. Um, if there's tutorials uh, that you'd like around Google Data Studio or just building out um, you know, SEO dashboards, uh, comment that below and happy to make this. Have a good one.